So today I'm talking about a P0020 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0020 code? Well, it's an intake A camshaft position actuator circuit open bank two. And what does this mean? Well, most engines these days have what's called variable valve timing, which basically can adjust the timing at different RPMs. I mean, this system helps the engine get more power and better fuel efficiency and different things along these lines. But when you get a P0020 code, the computer's seeing that there's some kind of issue going on with this. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted and know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder in your engine, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And bank two side of the engine is going to be the side of the engine that's having the problem. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0020 code? Well, the first thing to do whenever you have any issues going on with the variable valve timing is go check the engine oil and be sure that it's not really low or really dirty because engine oil flows through all these solenoids and the actuator and, and all the variable valve timing components. And so if the engine oil is low or if it's really super dirty or something like that, then that can throw it off. And while this code is pointing to the circuitry or the wiring, it's always a good idea to make sure that's good. So first thing to do is check your engine oil and be sure it's not low or really super dirty. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the variable valve timing. And this is going to vary depending on the vehicle, the year, different things like this. So you will need to get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But basically these wires are going to be running from the computer and the computer is going to be controlling the whole variable valve timing system. Usually this mainly means the wiring going to the variable valve timing solenoids. So there's going to be solenoids inside of this system. Quite often you'll have an intake and an exhaust solenoid. Although sometimes there can be just one, but usually there's more than one. But basically the wiring going to that solenoid is usually the main thing to go and check. Like I said, be sure to get a diagram what's going on on your particular engine since there will be differences. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue going on in the wiring going to the variable valve timing. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad variable valve timing solenoid. If the solenoid goes bad, it might be causing some kind of issue. You can not test these solenoids using a multimeter. And basically there's two leads going into these solenoids and they will be a rated ohms that they're supposed to be at. And so if you check them basically for resistance and you check to see what the ohms are, then that'll tell you whether or not they're good or bad. For example, say that solenoid is rated to be nine ohms, but you go to check it and it's like 15 ohms or 20 ohms, or you're not getting no reading at all, it's open or something like that, then you know that solenoid's bad and needs to be replaced. If you have a good scan tool, there's some other ways you go about testing it also, but the next thing that causes is a bad variable valve timing solenoid. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad variable valve timing actuator, sometimes called a phaser. And this is gonna be located on the cam and it's gonna be what the timing chain that the timing belt rides on and if this has issues and it could cause problems again depending on the system there could be different things going on with these so you will need to get a diagram for what's going on and any wiring that may or may not be going to these actuators because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad variable valve timing actuator and so that's basically it i just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the p0020 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day